So I'm sitting there talking in the hallway. We're talking to failed politician and professional radio smartass Michael Berry. Now, Michael knows who we are because uh, uh, he, he listens pretty regularly. Oh, good morning there, Michael. Michael. Not this early. He often contributes, and, and we were talking about where do these news people that go on television learn to give news that's not the news? Do they have like a special school they send them to? Because, they, you know, they come out of college, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed or whatever. Now I'm going to tell the news exactly as it is, word for word. I'm not going to be bought. I'm not going to be swayed. I'm going to tell the news, damn it. We don't have trouble yeah. finding the news. Yeah, we, we tell it every morning. It's all over the Internet. So then they get you turn your news on in the evening. You go, that's not the news. What's this? And now, from the national studios of a major news agency that has three letters and is just like the other two networks with three letters in their name. Good evening, America. This is Suntan Sam. And in today's news, unemployment is at a 30-year high. And most Americans don't expect to get hired anytime soon. Housing prices have sunk to long-term lows. And nobody is able to sell their homes because people with no jobs can't buy a house. Obamacare will soon take effect. Increasing the cost of health care and reducing your choices over your medical decisions. Death panels will decide if old people get treatment, because not giving treatment will save money. The Bush tax cuts will expire in the coming months, and Americans of all income levels can expect to see their tax bills increase dramatically. Details of the waste and corruption in the trillion-dollar stimulus bill are emerging. Things like studies on monkey cocaine habits topping the list of ways Democrats thought we could get the economy going again. The debt has increased more in 20 months than it did the first 200 years of our nation. Hey, hey, what the hell is he doing in here? Cut the commercial! Cut the commercial! Uh, this is odd. I'm getting news that we have a commercial break, so I'll have more news in just a moment. Hey, Sam, what the hell are you doing? What was that you were reading? It was the news, sir. Where'd you get it? From the news producer. He just started today. I told him to write the stories of what is going on in America. <laughs> he did the research and wrote the news Guy's to report. Word. No way! You know the rules. Obama writes the news oh. and he sends it to me. <laughs> I print it out okay. and I give it to you. Do you realize that if right. you read the news you just gave that Americans would realize what Obama is doing to this country? Really? We need distractions and diversions, oh. not facts and figures. Okay. If you can distract people for the next few weeks with silly, absurd pop culture news, right. we can keep Americans from paying attention to the election. Yep. Now get back to the news I gave you. Good evening, America. This is Suntan Sam, and in today's news, Britney Spears was seen dropping her children off at school. She wasn't wearing shoes, a bra, or panties. Terry Jones, the conservative white man Republican Christian who is a racist, was in the news today. We're not sure why, but we'd like to take a moment to remind you that he is the epitome of a racist, and every Republican is just like him. Also in today's news, Tiger Woods was seen in public with a black woman. Coming up later, we'll have four experts to examine whether this marks a change in his sexual appetite or whether this is a thinly veiled move to integrate himself with Al Sharpton now that he is in New York. Uh, now that, that's more like it. That's, that's the news. That's the news today. That's the news. <laughs>